One of college football's greatest rivalries takes center stage in Dope Campbell Stadium on Saturday at 3.30 on ESPN as Florida State takes on Florida in the Sunshine State Showdown. Welcome to your Seminoles.com game preview sponsored by Shop.Seminoles.com. I'm Lane Hurt. While Florida has struggled for most of the year and Florida State remains undefeated, Records do not matter one bit when the Gators and the Knolls get together. I lost to them my sophomore year and then uh, come back my junior year and beat them at home and then go on to win the national championship. And I just want to finish out, I just want to finish out right, you know. I want to finish out, you know, with a winning record against Florida and, uh, and, uh, and, and get, just start that process, moving on to the ACC championship, then the playoffs and hopefully to the national championship. When you look at Florida's offense, the Gators have gotten much, much better since moving on from Jeff Driscoll in favor of true freshman Treon Harris. The running game the Gators have has been powerful and has done some major damage, especially to Georgia earlier in the season. The Florida State defense is well aware that Florida is going to try to run the ball down their throats and want to stop the Gators at what they do best. They're going to run the ball. You know, that's, that's their bread and butter. And, uh, you know, they're going to run until you stop it. So that's our, that's our job, come Saturday, to stop the run and make them pass and make them, you know, be a balanced offense. But they're going to run the ball, and that's what we have to stop. I mean, they're, they're a very big team, and they, they like to run the ball a lot. I mean, that's, that's, that's always kind of been their M.O. Is, is to run the ball and, you know, do a lot of powers and counters. My X factor for this one is simple, winning first down. If the Knolls can win first down against the Gators, that puts them in second and third and long situations and forces Harris to throw the football. If not, the Gators have a bunch of third and short opportunities and can continue with their powerful running game. Now for a look at Florida State's offense versus Florida's defense, here's Jonathan Shalasi. The Florida State Seminoles will face its eighth opponent in which their defense ranks 40th in the nation in total defense. The Florida Gators rank in the top 10 of the nation's total defense for the third straight year. They're a great defense overall. They have good linebackers, good good off um, defense alignment. They, they bring good pressure. Uh, they, they're very fast, very physical, can tackle well, play, play in space very, very well. Um, number six, Fowler, who we recruited here at Florida State, I know him very well. Um, he's a monster, man. He's a monster. He's a, he's a problem. Uh, Darius Cummins, who I know personally, was a friend of mine when he was here, can play well. Uh, a lot of guys in the, in the back end can play very, very well. They're going to be a physical football team. We know that going into it. This game will come down to execution. The offensive line will have to block up front very well, especially against Dante Fowler. The running backs will have to be explosive in order to open up the passing game. And the wide receivers will have to get around a stout secondary, which contains the SEC's second best corner in pass break. Ups. It'll be another big test for this offense. We're going to have to fight, claw, scratch. You have to go out there and, and put everything you have into it. Uh, live full and die empty, what we call it around here. And Coach Fisher really believes in that. We believe in it. You know, you live full during the week and you put everything out in the football field and you die empty. You know, you go out there, you leave nothing, nothing left. It's the Knolls and the Gators. 3.30 on Saturday afternoon on ESPN inside a sold-out Dote Campbell Stadium in the regular season finale. A lot riding on this one for the Knolls as they look to stay in the top four of the college football playoff and go for back-to-back -back national championships. And of course, Seminoles.com has everything you need before, during, and after that game. Make sure you stick with Seminoles.com all weekend long. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.